Countries across the region are taking drastic measures in mitigating the health effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, while at the same time trying to cushion the effect on the economy. During an SK Newsline special broadcast on COVID-19 in the Caribbean on Thursday, we spoke to journalists from St. Lucia, Antigua and Barbuda, Jamaica and St. Martin to get an idea of how COVID-19 has been impacting these countries. In Antigua, a decision was made by the government to close the international borders to international flights to help decrease the chances of importing more cases of the coronavirus into the country. That decision, according to Director of News and Sports at ABS TV and Radio, Garfield Burford, was not an easy one. The government indicated that whatever was left of economic activity from tourism, that it was uh, necessary to maintain that, especially at a time when the cruise sector had pretty much been crippled. By that time, uh, many cruise lines had indicated that they would uh, stop sailing, for example, for at least 30 days and so on. So the cruise lines uh, had presented their own challenges and, and, and they'd stopped. So the cruise side was down uh, in terms of air arrivals, while that presented a risk, the government indicated that it was prepared to ma try to manage the risk. He said even though there is not an official lockdown in Antigua, there has been a slowing down of some commercial activity. In addition, uh, the, there's been a ban on fets and entertainment events and all gathering sporting activities uh, for a period of at least 30 days. And that was about uh, two weeks ago. That was put in place about two weeks ago. So we're, we're well and truly on to that. That was going to continue on into sometime in April. So these measures put in place, I think that is representative of what has been done in many countries around the region and around the world to try to limit the possibility of a trans, uh, community transmission, which is the worrying part. You All Day Thursday was a national day of prayer in Antigua and Barbuda. National TV programming focused primarily on prayer sessions and words of inspiration and hope. St. Lucia has implemented a curfew, and according to DBS TV journalist Zane Romulus, most people have been compliant with the authorities. I think um, generally people um, have accepted it. Of course, there is um, opposition um, that is uh, first from the opposition side of government and from other um, persons in society. But generally it has persons who are actually waiting for that. The, the, the public will, will um, ask in and have been given the government, having put in pressure on the government to, to to um, implement that state of emergency. Um, uh, under this, um, well, this, this new protocol, what, what happened is that uh, we have a, well, I guess a general shutdown of all non-essential businesses. Um, right now it's only essential commercial services that are running. In Jamaica, schools closed two weeks ago and the authorities are taking more stringent measures in a bid to contain the spread of the virus. Initially, the government said they would be closed for two weeks, but which would start it on March 13th. So the two weeks would have run out on March 27th. But on Monday, they said they were extending that closure until the end of the first term, so which is after the Easter break. So we go back at the beginning of the summer term. As a bright spark, though, students at home are getting a chance to study as one of the TV stations, Television Jamaica, has partnered with the Ministry of Education to deliver live and taped delay lessons on TV. Well, initially, when they announced that schools were going to be closed, they said um, that schools would have to adopt e-learning approaches. But then there were concerns about internet penetration and, and large pockets of the of the society which don't have access to either computers or the internet at home and so whoever's brilliant idea this was <laughs> it was fantastic idea to make the lessons available via tv via radio via cable the entire island of saint martin both french and dutch has been on lockdown prime minister of dutch saint martin sylvia jacobs on thursday said law enforcement from both sides would be enforcing stricter surveillance to, to limit persons from leaving their homes. Freelance journalist Andrew Bishop describes the situation there. The confinement, confinement measures of St. Martin must be strictly respected. They call on all persons to stay at home while schools are closed. Um, the only places that are opened are the restaurants, are, are the supermarkets, the pharmacies and places like that, gas stations for essential services. 
but people are asked to stay at home. It is the only way that they can control this coronavirus. The ports are closed, the airport and the harbor are closed. There's no business going on there either. SK Newsline will continue to provide a local and regional perspective on the impact of COVID-19. Reporting for SK Newsline, I'm Andre Huey.